I'm so sorry, but who the hell is telling these stories and why are so many of these, you know, established articles even printing this BS? Because I'm not buying any of what they're trying to sell. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Let's get straight into this before my phone dies, literally 1%. But I'm just so confused by this because so many people are salivating over the story, laughing at it, mocking Harry and Meghan and believing it and running with it. And to me, it's just lies, 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 lies. So the reports are saying that Harry and Meghan are returning as working royals because Harry is in 28 million pounds worth of debt. Um, okay, a source reveals to Life and Style Yahoo that the duo are going through one of the toughest times in their lives, so much so that they recently resorted to begging King Charles for their old jobs back. Harry's been trying to cut a secret deal to live and work with the royal family and Charles has graciously agreed to it. He and Meghan are grateful. Charles had to cut Harry off because of him moving to North America, but things didn't work out for them. And now Harry and Meghan are in $28 million in debt and they seemingly have no new income. It's been a rude awakening. That's why despite all the bad blood and the family tensions, he and Meghan want to return to, the, to Britain. Um, they've tried to make it work in America, but it hasn't happened yet. And their money problems have directly affected their marriage. She believes it could help them repair their marriage. King Charles loves Harry and his grandchildren and having his family back together is what he wanted. But his approval comes with conditions. Namely, Meghan and Harry have to agree not to speak ill of the royals again. That's a must. It will be an utter embarrassment if they were to be kicked out of the family for the second time. Um, not everyone is on board though. Prince William and Kate don't think Harry and Meghan moving back is a good idea. Um, they think that Meghan and, um, um, and Kate as neighbours could be problematic again. Um, Meghan famously claimed that Kate made her cry over an ill-fitting bridesmaid dress, but after such a lengthy estrange between the couples, William does not want to repair his relationship with his brother. Like, why is Yahoo reporting on this? And everybody seems to be believing this news and... Um, salivating over it and it doesn't make any sense because why would Harry be begging to return back to the UK and to be working with his father King Charles again when it was only two days ago that his spokesman spoke up for him to say that he wasn't invited to King Charles's birthday why would he publicly even say that if he was secretly begging to go back does that make any sense why would he why why, why would he say that clearly he made it clear to the world that Charles did not invite him lied about inviting him because he wanted the world to know that that's not true he wouldn't be saying that publicly if he was going to work with the royals again. So I don't understand why Yahoo are promoting this nonsense. I don't believe it. To be in $28 million of debt and therefore you're begging to return back. And suddenly their lack of income issues has affected their marriage. How does anybody know what's affected their marriage? Like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> How does anybody know? We know that there was an affair because Dan Woodson said that himself and then he removed that. Um, so, you know, in regards to William and Kate. And then Dan Wooten was the one who was in William's camp with the AIDS. All of that, there's proof and evidence when it comes to all of that. But how does anybody know that they're having income issues that is affecting their marriage and that he's running back to Charles? Because if he was running back to Charles, he wouldn't have spoken out 48 hours ago to let the world know that my father lied. He did not invite me to his birthday. I didn't even know it was going on. I just want to let you guys know that. He wouldn't be speaking out and saying any of the stuff if he was begging to go back. It doesn't make any sense. And if they were in $28 million of debt, then that doesn't make any sense either because Spare was the most successful book in history in the UK and in America, I believe, let alone how much they got paid to do the Netflix stuff, which is all far more, garnered far more than whatever they're supposedly meant to be in debt for. So the world is salivating over this. People are making YouTube videos about it, like, oh my God, they're in debt. Look what's happening. Red to tear you know, their eyes are gleaming over false news, over fake stuff because the evidence doesn't back it up because there is no evidence, nor does the lack, nor does the behavior in the past couple of days. So I don't understand, but it's, it's just wild to me how people choose to be delusional. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button for daily and consistent content. I would appreciate it. Send a super thanks, please, because what the hell is this nonsense going on right now? Like, I don't understand. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.